But the fire is so delightful Since we've no place to go Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow My name is Jam. Thank you so much for clicking onto this video. So in today's video, I have recently been seeing people doing like showing their top ten favorite books or show their favorite books or books that they have found on TikTok. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. As some of you guys may know, I am a huge book obsessed person. I love to read. I love finding new books, and I have so many. But I just maximize them to my favorite amount because if you have seen my bookshelf, I put so many books on there. But I'm going to be showing you guys some of my favorite ones. So enough of me talking. Let's go on with the video. Let's go. So the first book is by Lauren Child and it's called Look Into My Eyes. And it is the Red Ruby Redfoot book series. This is one of my all time favorite books. And I have been reading this book over and over again. This is like actually the second copy I have of this book because I was so sad. The first copy I had was like actually like a photo of the character. On the, on the front of it so basically i had water in my bag and then it spilled and then it ru got ruined so i bought another one and here's the second one and i love this book so much a collection it's called the circus well they're different books but different type of adventure books by Amy blyton and i think this is like only half of the series the rest is somewhere in my room but these are like some of my most favorite books the mountain of adventure the Circus of Adventure, The Ship of Adventure, and The Valley of Adventure. And this one also got wet in my bag when it was like wet with my other copy of the Ruby Redfoot book, but it is one of my all time favorite. This books. one I got in primary school, which is Little Woman. And you guys might think this is so thick. I think I got it in year five or six. And we did this book fair thing, and we could pick out a book for free that we really wanted, or I think we had to pay for it. And I got this book. and. It's actually really good. It's based off the actual version of Little Woman. This is the book. Well, here we have another continuous series. This is the first one. It was also, it's also ripped too. As you can see, when I was younger, I didn't really take care of my books. I had this one in year six, so two years ago, and this is called The Nowhere Emporium by Ross McKenzie. So I really, really love this book. I actually had it from school, but then COVID came and everything, so I wasn't able to return it because I didn't get to go back to school. So I've had this book for quite a while. And then I've always wanted this book since like last Christmas. So then my mom got me the second book, which is the Elsewhere Emporium. And like, I really love Ross McKenzie. I even have this book called The Shadow Smith, which is another book by him. I actually haven't really read that and I kind of, I'm kind of angry at myself for not reading it but um yeah so i think i need to read this book but i would rate these books like a nine well this one i would rate a 10 out of 10 this one a 9 out of 10 because it kind of gets more boring but it's still a really good book we have another book by enid blyton this is the christmas stories and it's just different funny christmas stories in the book i've had this book for like yeah two years since year six and this is such a good book my friend actually gave this to me and i'm actually so thankful for it because it's actually funny hysterical and i'm not going to spoil the book for you but it's really good and i definitely recommend reading this i think i got this book at a book fair as well and it's called my friend the enemy and it's basically like world war ii and it's between i think germany and england and this main character finds a friend so let me read the book 1914, it's wartime, and when a German plane crashes in the flames near Peter's house, he rushed over, hopping to find something exciting to keep. But when, but what he finds instead is an injured young airman. He needs help, but can either of them trust the enemy? And this book is so, so good. The next book, this is the third book of this series, I think. It's called The Potion Diaries, and the first book is here. This book is so good. I love, love, loved this book. But then I don't know where the first one is, but I know it's somewhere in my house. But this is an amazing book series and I definitely recommend it. It is by Amy, Amy Alward. So it'll be on screen. And I think I'll put all the links of these books in the description down below. So here we've got Beetle Boy. So this book is actually good. I've done a book review on it for school. And it's basically about this boy called Darius and he's like looking for his father because something happened to him and then he goes and finds like a swarm of like 
Beatles and then basically it takes off from there. I'm not gonna spoil it too, but it's really good book. It's by MJ Leonard. This is like the final of my favorite books. This is called Magical Am To Me by Kate Sanders. And I haven't read this book in a while, but I'll read the blurb to tell you guys a little about it, bit about it. Tom is in shock. His dad has been kidnapped by killer fairies. Luckily, he has three fairy godmothers to help him. The only problem is two of them hardened criminals. Um, two of them are hardened criminals, and one is plain rubbish. Can they, their mad magic help Tom? Help save Tom's dad. So this is actually a really, really good book. Can't really remember much, but I know it's good. So now it is time to rate all of the books since I've told you guys all about them. I know not everybody does this, but I'm going to be doing it. So let's first rate the Ruby Red Foot book. This is the book that got a bit damaged and I was so upset about it. And this is a new copy. I would rate this book like a 9 out of 10 because this, this book is actually so amazing. It's so funny and I love how it's a continuous series and it's like different books each time. Uh, I don't know where the rest of the series is because I only think I got the second book and I'm still currently working on it and reading on it. I haven't finished the second book yet, but it's really good. My, oh my, oh my. So this book is actually one of the biggest books I've ever read. It has 618 pages and there's two books inside. I think the second book starts at page 299 and the first book ends at page 283 and this book is actually really complex but the the real version like the first version is even more complex so i don't understand how they simplified it down but this book is absolutely amazing and it shows what women women were like back in the day so i really rate it a 10 out of 10 it's very formal and it's very nice to read for the ed oh, the voice crack for the adventure books i would rate them like a 7 out of 10 because although they're like different books, they're kind of continuous and you already know what's going to happen. It's kind of predictable. And for the Nowhere Emporium series, I would rate it, I've already rated it before. This one is a 10 out, nine, I mean 9 out of 10 and this one is a 10 out of 10, but the series is amazing. Um, So I can't really rate this book because I read like, let's see, this is a bookmarker by the way. So I only read up to page 9, so I don't really know much. But I can tell you those nine pages were good because I had this one for like five years now. So I can't really remember what happened. But yeah. And as you can see here, it says from the author of the Noah Emporium. So that's actually the reason that I got this book. The Christmas story, especially in time for this season, because we are now in Christmas season in winter. So I'm actually going to try and read these books to my sibling. This book's books because it's more than one to my siblings when they go to sleep because i feel like it will put them in the christmas mood and the christmas spirit so i rate this book in nine out of ten especially for christmas season these this these this book is actually so good my friend the m and me i would rate it like a mm, a 8.5 out of 10 because there's actually a lot of twists in the book and most of them are really unexpected like i didn't think they would happen so this is really good for people that like to read about the war and stuff which i'm currently learning in school but we haven't moved on to world war ii but when we do i'm definitely bringing this one in beautiful boy is like a come medical book but it's like really funny and i love it so i think i would rate it in like a six out of ten a six or a seven out of ten For the Royal, for the Potion Diaries, I would rate the series a 8 out of 10. It's a really good series and it's all like about princesses and kings and queens. So I really like about how it's about royalty and it's a really good book. So now let's do the last rating of Mishant. Why can't I not pronounce it, pronounce it right? Magical Min Mil and Milty. I give up. Magic and Multi by Kate Sanders. I would rate it like a 6 out of 10 because I can't really recall what happened in the book. So I'm definitely going to have to read this again and catch up on my reading to know what it's about. But this is going to be the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're trying to reach 3k subscribers. We've made it to 2k in only like around, I think it was like two months. So I know we can make it to 3k. Please keep sharing and subscribe. <laughs> oh my gosh please keep sharing with family and friends and please don't forget to turn your post notifications so not if i won't ever upload a new video that's it for now until next time diamond bye everyone <laughs>